Okay. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Well, we've started our full-time journey at last. Have. Well, I know Wendy didn't want me to say this, but I suppose you're wondering where we are. Well, we're beyond the grey. <laughs> Yeah, I've said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this journey started several years ago for us, didn't it, Paul? It did. Yeah. Because so we decided to um, to travel in Australia and spend mm. time um, exploring this this amazing country of ours. Mm. Full time. Um, full time. In yeah. a caravan. In a caravan. We needed to choose our rig. You know, we needed to choose the caravan that we were going to live in. So we did a bit of research. We explored things we went to camping shows and we eventually landed on a company called Avenue for our caravan mm. and uh, because they had an amazing reputation of um, reliability quality, quality. Yeah. Yeah. and a company that we could trust you know, a company that we thought if something goes wrong they'll be there for us and because we decided to get such a large van we need to get a car that could pull this van Yep. So um, we ended we up quickly found out that um, there's not a lot of cars that can do it as comfortably as we would have liked. So the, the choices really do um, shrink with the, the bigger the van. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. so we had a couple to choose from. We ended up going with the um, Land Cruiser 200 series yep. uh, as our vehicle of choice. So once we chose what van we wanted, the, rig, the car to tow it, that was our rig chosen then it was a matter of going out and purchasing them. So as we said the car we chose was a Land Cruiser 200 series. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that worked really well in our favour on um, buying the car new was that we, we knew there were some must-haves yes. um, for the car to make sure that we could travel safely and um, be as comfortable as possible. You know, those must-haves includes uh, all bar driving lights, Driving lights, yeah. A UHF radio, yep. so that we could talk to the trucks around us and other, and other caravanners around and the us. Travels, yeah. Yeah, on the yeah. road, yeah. yeah. Dual battery system. Yeah, because we wanted a fridge, didn't we? We wanted a yeah. fridge so that we could stop for lunch and and um, you know have extra space. And, and other things that work off the um, auxiliary battery. Yeah, like most definitely. Lights or something, and um, compressors, and just different things you might use. Uh, along the way, yeah. you know, it seems like it's a standard uh, piece of equipment. Yeah. Um, the uh, electric brakes, obviously, for towing. Uh, we've got an increase in our um, GVM, the, the weights you can carry. Yeah, yeah, both, yeah, for the car, you know, so that the car could carry more, but it also could tow more. Mm. So, because the van, you know, was going to be quite a weight. Yeah. The, um, the other thing that um, we wanted to have was have the most functional use of the space at the back. Mm. And again, through caravan and camping shows and things, we found that you could get the back fitted out with drawers and shelves and things. Yeah. Then we get a, um, a slide out for the the powered fridge, as we said, the cooler. Yep, so we've got the fridge. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, we fit in the back of the car. The, um, the cooler we went for was an angle 40 litre fridge freezer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we did. And so far, I mean, it's only a few months in, but you know, so far we've been very happy with it. Absolutely. You know, haven't used it as a freezer yet, but as far as the fridge goes, it's, it's good. Doesn't seem to draw too much power in the auxiliary battery. Yep. And, um, works like a charm. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Yeah. And then the van uh, that we ended up going for, as we mentioned, we went with a company called Avenue. It's been around for years and years. Mm. And Danny down there was a really great help. But we chose the Avenue 23 3, 20 foot, 23 foot 3. It's an off-road van. Mm. And um, so, you know, all that really means is that the underneath, the chassis and the um, suspension has been upgraded to, to off-road. Yeah. And, um, and, and there's so, a bit of protection underneath. So if you go on dirt roads or, yeah. or rocks and things fly up, it's not going to do as much damage. Most definitely, yeah. Yeah, one of the good things about um, this van that we've chosen is that it does yeah. have two living areas, yeah. which is you know, a real bonus. As well as obviously outside, but if you're in the van for whatever reason, well, you've got the, the two different living areas. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's fully self-contained. 
So we go to some really remote places. Mm. We weren't limited by what we were towing. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Um, that was supposed to be finished by mid June, but then unfortunately, uh, coronavirus hit and we went into a bit of lockdown. But then, about a week before it was due to be completed and handed over, we got the news. Victoria was going into lockdown. Melbourne, particularly, was going into um, six weeks of stage four restrictions. The, the biggest impact from our perspective was that Devon New Caravans was going to close for six weeks. Yeah, one week before mm. our caravan was due to be completed. Yeah. So we had a bit of a dilemma. We did. However, um, when I spoke to Danny about our, our situation, uh, it was so helpful and we could borrow one of their vans on so they had on site there um, for the duration of lockdown. Yeah, one of their trade-in vans. Mm. Fortunately, we were able to go and grab a van from there and they really did look after us that way. Absolutely. You know, reinforcing the, the trust and faith that we had in them as an organisation. Yeah, they're a really good company. Yeah. So we were able to start our full-time travels. Yep. So we decided to stay in Kilmore. Yep. Now Kilmore's um, just outside of the metro in Melbourne area, so we thought, well, we'll go there for the first... Well, you know. we thought it was going to be about five weeks, didn't we? Mm. We thought it six, six weeks, six, maybe, six, maybe we would have been there, because by the time we ended up in the van, there was still about five weeks of lockdown left, and then in the last, the week after that, our van should have been ready. That's right. Yeah. So we went to Kilmore, and... Kilmore itself is a nice place, it's like, as I said, it's, um, the, the main street is pretty much it. There's only one set of shops, it's got a lot of stuff in it that was good. Mm. Um, great little coffee shop that um, we stumbled on. Yep. Uh, Odd Fellows, I think it was called. Yeah, it was. Um, good coffee. Yeah, had a really nice walk up by the race course and um, along the, the creek. And we made that our daily there. walk, yeah. Mm. Yep. It was very enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I, I tell you what, it was cold there. It was so cold uh, and, and windy and it rained a lot. Um, it must have been one of the wettest um, times of year for that place. We just happened to be there. You know. yeah. uh, we had ice forming on our canopy. Uh, it, it, so we walked around in coats most of the time. We had to stay indoors because it was um, too wet to go anywhere. No outdoor living. No. no. So. So it was, yeah, an interesting journey. Absolutely. But the Car Kilmore Caravan Park in itself, it was, it was fine, I mean. Yeah. I mean. It was getting closer, I think we were um, less than a week out from the lockdown extension. And then Dan Andrews came out and extended it further again. Another two weeks. Another two weeks of lockdown. Yeah. Meant yeah. that there was another two weeks at least of um, Avenue Caravans being closed. We were, <laughs> we we were stuck. Were, yeah. we, I think we, we worked out that we had probably another five weeks. We'd spoken to Danny <clears> by that time and he gave us an estimate of when the van would be ready. Because even when they came back to work it was going to be with a reduced capacity. Mm, mm, um, yeah. the, and so we had to make a decision mm. really. Do we stay at Kilmore for another five weeks? Or you know, or do we find something something else? Mm. So Paul and I spent several hours on the phone to different places around Victoria, um, wondering, you know, asking whether they would take mm. us. Would you take us? We're grey nomads. We're displaced. We're looking for somewhere else. Mm. And um, I must admit, I was a little surprised at how hard it was to find somewhere that would take us during this COVID lockdown. So we did end up finding a place in Kerrang. Uh, Kareng Caravan and Tourist Park mm. and uh, and they said yep come on up and uh, we've got plenty of room for you and in fact you can have a riverside site so yeah. we made the decision to move and we'd love to share that with you or a vlog of Kareng to show you what's there so I look forward to seeing you next time yep when we're doing our vlog in Kareng thanks thanks bye for now bye